Hello, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. We're going to show you how to take our transplant from our DWC cloner and transplant traditionally in soil, like you would in a five gallon bucket. But we're going to add a twist to that. We're going to add some lava rock down below to add an air chamber, and we're going to use our hydro soil mat. As you can see, all these tiny little holes which will allow the roots to grow through the mat. What we're going to do is we're going to separate the soil from the air chamber down below with our lava rock. And the reason why we're going to use lava rock is it's extremely rigid, extremely sharp, and it drains quite quickly. Now, on, on top of that, it's also extremely porous. The key to the lava rock down below, and you can buy that locally at your local nursery, the key to that is, it's going to retain the maximum amount of air and oxygen down below, increase our drainage rate, which is going to increase our air and oxygen coming down through our soil. So this is a very inexpensive change if you're growing in traditional soil. And we're going to show you how to do that. But first, let's show you how we prepare our clones before we go into our pot. Here we go, we're going to go from our DWC cloner directly into our soil. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give our roots a haircut. Let me show you what I mean. I want these roots nice and even. See the straggler? Now I pre-trimmed these yesterday because I was getting ready to do this, do this transplant today. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off evenly. Just like that. See those beautiful roots? Nice stark white. Now I'm going to plug this back into the bucket and I'm going to go ahead and take this fan leaf, grab my tweezers, bring that down, and I'm going to cut that off. Okay. So now this is going to be our transplant right here. It's a beautiful transplant. Microcropping, we'll talk about that in a different video. We're not going to do that today. But we're going to leave that into our DWC EcoFlow DWC cloner, mini cloner, and we're going to leave that sit until we prepare our pot for our actual transplant. What this is going to do is this is going to minimize your shock or what we call micro shock. And that's a whole different video we're going to talk about. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is minimize this micro shock. So we're going to leave this into our cloner and you can leave this up to uh, six, eight hours before you do your transplant. Here we go, get ready for the transplant. Okay, now we're ready to prepare our pot and our lava rock, we talked about this earlier, we have, we have a PDF on the website, the advantages of using lava rock, not only because of its porosity and its quick draining capability, but also because of the trace elements it supplies to the roots for the proper nutrient uptake through the growth cycle of the plant. So what we did was we filled about two and a half, three inches of lava rock in the bottom of our bucket. I'm going to pour the rest of this in. And then what we're going to do is take our hydro soil mat. Remember those little tiny holes where the roots are going to grow down through into the lava rock? Just simply place it on top. If you want to trace it out, and then cut it out, that's fine, but we're just gonna simply punch it down, okay, like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our soil. The key is you wanna keep the soil completely separate from the air chamber that you're gonna create. So we're gonna go ahead and take our soil, and today we're gonna to use the Fox Farm Ocean. It's fantastic, it works great. It has the perlite mixed in, and it has the uh, worm castings and whatnot. We're gonna dump that in, and we're gonna make sure that the hydrosoil mat is pressed up tight against the side of the pot. Now, we're only gonna fill the pot halfway up, and the reason why I'm gonna do this is we wanna saturate the soil. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and saturate the soil. So we're going to take our water and we're going to go ahead and saturate that soil. 
until you see water coming out at the bottom. Just nice and even. Now once you do that, you can see the water starting to drain out a little bit, a little at a time. And then we want to go ahead and continue to fill the rest of the pot with our soil. Now this is important. The reason why you want to do this is when you want to take your transplant from your cloner into your pot, you want to make sure this soil is totally saturated. You do not want to transplant and dampen it down a little bit. Just take your hand and push it down, dampen it down. You do not want to make sure your roots touch dry soil. Otherwise, it's going to tend to shock your plant. So just dampen that down real good. Here we go. We're almost there. Dampen that down. Spread the soil around, dampen it down real good, and continue to water the soil. Make sure it is just totally saturated. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some more water to my uh, little watering can. Continue to water. And while you're doing that, dampen it down real good. Just like this. Check the bottom and make sure you have water flowing out under your lava rock. Now once that's done, let me check, let me dampen down a little bit more. I think we're good to go. Okay, once we do that, then what we're going to do, I'm going to rinse my hand off and just damp it down the soil a little bit more. Make sure that's nice and saturated, nice and soppy wet. Okay, we're good to go there. Now we're ready to do our transplant. And let me show you this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cocktail fork and I'm going to go ahead and poke in the center of my grow bucket. And we're growing in a five gallon bucket traditionally in soil. I'm going to go ahead and spread this soil nice and wide. If you notice, the soil is not falling down back in the bucket because it is totally saturated. And that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. So I want to dig a nice deep hole. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take my clone, take my tweezers, pull my ne neoprene collar out, I'm going to show you my clone, which we trimmed earlier. This plant is just beautiful. Notice these nice even roots. You don't see any stragglers hanging down below. What I want to do is I want to position this nice, nice, nice and even. The roots are hanging straight down. I want to give this plant its best possible start from day one. So I want to position this evenly like this, drop my soil in nice and slow all the way around. I want this plant to stand nice and straight and the roots are not coiled. I want to give this plant its best possible start as I can. So just dampen the soil down with your cocktail fork or a regular fork. If you don't have a cocktail fork, that's fine. Just dampen it down all the way around, just like this. And that's what you have. Look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. Nice and straight. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you want to, add a little more water after you're done. The key is you do not want these roots to hit dry soil. The reason why is you don't want that, you don't want that plant to shock. Because if you plant this plant in dry soil or semi-dry soil, what's going to happen is it's gonna, the soil is going to absorb the moisture from the roots and you're going to see drooping of the leaves. We call it a mini shock or a shock. So you don't want that. Just simply dampen this down. And if you want to, add a little more water. That's up to you. But you're ready to go. That plant is going to just ultimately just grow like crazy.
So here we go. We're going to show you the air chamber down below with a lava rock. Now we're growing in a clear container to get this point across and show you the benefits of that lava rock trapping the air and the oxygen in order for the roots to grow down. And we're showing this in a clear container. Obviously in the other pot was totally black. But this just kind of gets the point across. You, you minimize the root balling, number one you maximize the air and the uh, oxygen going to the feeder roots as they go down through the hydrosoil mat which is located right here and grow down through as you can see in between your feeding cycles and your uh, your, your, your uh, watering of your plants you're going to pull oxygen and air down into this air chamber allowing these roots to take advantage of the air and the uh, oxygen. So I hope this gets the point across. So you got your soil up here, you've got your hydro mat here, and then you have your lava rock here, and these beautiful white stark white roots here. And this is in a clear pot. Now you're growing in a, in a black pot. So the lighting system is immaterial when you're growing in the uh, clear pot. It, it doesn't matter. The roots are doing fantastic. They're receiving the right amount of air. Uh, they're growing explosive because you're providing more air not only from the bottom up but from the top down. Okay, let's do a quick recap. The uh, hydro soil mat it comes in 12 by 12 inches and it's available on the website on our shopping cart at modularhydro.com. It's very inexpensive. You can buy the lava rock the technology we just showed you, you can buy that locally at your local uh, nursery. Very inexpensive. And what it's going to do is it's going to increase the oxygen and air going to your plant's roots. You're going to see a huge difference. And if you don't trust me on this, if you're growing six plants, okay, in a five gallon bucket, whatever size bucket you're growing in, try one or two with this technology and compare it to the others and see which one outperforms. I guarantee you this technology will outperform and it's minimal cost to you. Okay, so let's talk about the benefits of it. Increased air and oxygen. Go to our website modularhydro.com and print off the PDF. We talk about the importance of the amount of air and oxygen going to your plants. And it gets a little technical on that article, but we try to keep it kind of minimal so that you understand it. The second one you want to go to is go to the use of using lava rock, the trace minerals. It's huge, best kept secret. Have you ever been to Hawaii and watched the plants, how they grow? Lots of moisture and lots of lava rock. And end of case. That's it. Been to Hawaii, plants are growing like crazy. Why do you think that is? I think it's because of the moisture amount and because of the lava rock. Now, when you're growing with this technology, don't be afraid to water your plants a little bit more than normal. In fact, I would. We found our studies show that by watering the plants more than normal growing traditionally in soil, when that bucket is filled with earth from the top to the bottom, utilizing this technology with the lava rock, the hydrosoil mat, and then the earth, you want to, you want to increase that, nu that nutrient uptake, you want to increase that air and oxygen, because when you water that plant, what happens is, the air and oxygen flows down through. That air chamber down below captures all that air and oxygen and is waiting for its next uh, growth cycle or its next feeding cycle. So try it and let me know how it does. Again, I'm Wayne with modularhydro.com. Thank you.